Welcome to the simulation tutorial video. In this lesson, you will witness a short demonstration flight using the Cessna Skyhawk 172 SP. The display before you is configured to show three different viewpoints. Taking up most of the screens is the virtual cockpit. Most of the flight can be viewed from here. On the lower right is a view window that is focused on the instruments you have been learning about in the written portion of this video. Please pay attention to these instruments throughout the duration of the flight. On the lower left side of the screen you will notice an external view of the aircraft. This will show you the behavior of the aircraft as it is flying. The aircraft is already prepared for takeoff. At this time we will go ahead and begin. Please note the black piston-like lever near the center of the cockpit. This is the throttle. As it is pushed in, we will add power for takeoff. Upon brake release, the aircraft begins to move. We smoothly continue adding power on the throttle until it reaches maximum. As the aircraft gets well into its flight envelope, we gently pull back on the flight yoke to raise the nose. As we do so, you'll note the aircraft takes to the air almost effortlessly. Once in the air, you'll notice the aircraft attempt to roll left due to prop torque. A slight turn to the right is applied to correct to this. You may notice this happen from time to time during the flight. Our selected altitude for this flight is 1,000 feet. Observe the instruments during climb out. As we approach 1,000 feet, we begin to level off. Engine power is slowly reduced now that we aren't climbing. It's not exactly 1,000 feet, but we're not threading any, so don't stress. At this time, we trim the aircraft for level flight. We set our power how we want it, now we just have to smooth things out. Now that we've trimmed for hands-off flight, feel free to look around. Pilots need to keep their heads on a swivel to watch out for other aircraft. In this simulation, however, all air traffic has been turned off to prevent interference. Time for our turn. We're going to gently roll the aircraft left to about 10 degrees and pull back slightly on the yoke to maintain altitude. Rudder would also be applied to synchronize the turn, but that has been left out for this video. Don't fixate on any one thing. If you'll note the instruments, observation of one for too long can prevent you from noticing changes in others. In this case, we gain a few hundred feet of altitude.
spot the runway ahead and to the left, level out and return to steady forward flight. Enjoy the scenery. In our turn, we're going to put the aircraft into landing configuration. Our speed is reduced and our nose is pitched to remain level. The flaps are put down at this time, which prompts the increase in power you may hear in the engine to compensate.
into sight, and we note from the approach slope indicator that we are high. Engine power is reduced to drop us down to the glide slope before we get too far along. Once on the slope, we just settle the plane into a steady descent. If done correctly, you should only have to make small adjustments in power to control descent. Once we're over the runway threshold, we'll pull the throttle back to idle and gently pull back on the stick. The aircraft will bleed off speed as the nose rises and settle onto the runway on its own. Once the nose wheel touches down, we apply the brakes until the aircraft comes to a complete 200. stop. Fifty, forty. This concludes our tutorial.